the distance between us is holy ground to be traversed feet bare hands raised in joyous dance so that once it is crossed the tracks of our pilgrimage shine in the darkness and light are coming together in a bright and steady light. Being human means being an artist. We cannot be human and not be an artist. As we've evolved and left the instinct behind and developed this huge brain that we have that gives us that consciousness, that intelligence, we had to learn everything, including the most important thing for our survival is love, that uh, mammalian propensity to bond without which mammals could not, could not survive. And so our lives are built with decisions that make us who we are, um, that makes us the artists that we are. We can't uh, enter a space without designing it into an environmental sculpture, if you will. Uh, when we get up in the mornings and choose the clothes we wear, we are dressing up for a performance whether we're conscious of it or not. Uh, it's hard to talk about art because in our culture, we usually spell it with a capital A and put it on a pedestal and bow before it. And we often forget that we are actually artists in everything that we do as we walk through the day. La distancia entre nosotros es suelo sagrado. Para atravesarse con los pies desnudos, las manos elevadas, en baile de regocijo. Para que una vez cruzado las huellas de nuestro perinaje, brillen en la oscuridad y alumbren nuestro encuentro con luz brillante y fija. In the Western tradition, which we belong, basis it is on the Abraham make cosmology, we are heavy handed in how we order the earth. We control the earth, impose upon it our own patterns. In the Western way, you don't love the earth, but it's merely a source for your art. In the indigenous way, they geared their art to be in greater harmony with the earth itself. And the only difference between a good artist and a bad artist is how conscious we are in moving through the world, in creating the worlds, and in honoring the earth. So our only choice is to be a conscious artist or an unconscious artist. La hierba veraniega crece pieles de miel en las colinas. Orgullo de leones durmiendo bajo el sol del solsticio, cómodos, contentos, completos. Que así sea contigo, indeciblemente seguro, sabiendo que bondadoso es el sol, creciendo en ti, como campo en flor, hasta que ya maduras, 
estalle en semillas, mensajeros emplumados, esparcidos, cada una recuerdo de que eres amado. We reach the point to where the imposition of the Western paradigm, the Western way of looking at things, has brought us is to the verge of extinction, so that now we have to become conscious artists. And by that I mean we have to make our art a loving art, loving of the world, loving of the earth, and loving of each other. We have no choice. It's either the old way of looking at things, the extractive culture of the West, or honoring the indigenous way and learning from the indigenous way and become conscious artists participating fully in the healing of ourselves and our relationship to the earth. Summer grasses grow, honey pelts upon the hill, pride of lions napping in the solstice sun, easy and content fulfill. So may it be with you, unutterably sure, knowing that gracious is the sun, creating itself in you, like a field of grasses in flower, until they, full grown, burst into seeds, feathered on voice, flung afar, each a token that you are love. Despierta, awake.